morning. It's Gary from g and Honeybees, and just a short video on being careful what you wish for. The other day I was uh, talking to my better half, Heather, um, saying that I wished it would either get cold and stay cold so the bees would cluster, or it would warm up so that they could start their spring buildup. However, the uh, weather has decided to give us the first part of that, and it's gone from about 8 to 9 degrees Celsius, or roughly 50 degrees Fahrenheit, down to a minus 3 Celsius, or about a 25 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. So, as you can see, we have a smattering of snow on the, on the deck and the grass, and out towards the beehives. see there's a bit of snow on the roofs there but the problem with the temperature being warm you can see on the front of the hive here that I've got two or three bees that have come out and have just simply frozen uh, because they weren't in cluster the other issue is that not being in cluster they are chewing through their food supplies really fast I'm just going to pull out the inspection board and you can see the cappings from the, uh, the honey that they've been opening up to uh, get food from. So, I'm just going to have a quick peek inside with my, um, my endoscope and we're going to see if they've actually clustered up and I'm Probably going to close down the these entrance or these ventilation holes so that some of the ventilation the warm air that they are generating will stay inside the hive. And uh, hopefully they're clustered up and they're gonna stay warm enough to get through this cold snap that we're having. It's supposed to be like this for, I guess, another week. And uh, I know that the there's been bees dying off quite rapidly lately because of the amount of energy they've been using. So, I know Hive 2 has got a lot less bees in it than Hive 1. But I'll add the uh, endoscope video to the end of this video because I can't use the iPad for both things at the same time. So, here I go. I'm going to do the endoscope thing and I'll talk to you again soon. So I've just done the um, <clears throat> endoscope peek inside the hives and hive 2 there's no bees on the bottom of the frames I believe they've moved up into the upper box and um, they're gonna stay up there and stay warmer 
Uh, you can see by the video for Hive 2 that there's quite a few dead bees on the bottom screen. Um, Hive 1, they are all clustered on the bottoms of the of the lower box and uh, they seem to be moving around quite a bit. So the other thing I've done is because I have these sliding entrances, I've closed them up a little bit. There's just enough space for them to get out and in if they need to, but it will prevent too much of the, the cold from getting into the hives. So hopefully we'll get through this cold snap just fine and spring will come and, and uh, we'll have two good healthy hives at that time. Alright, talk to you again soon.